Thanks for watching Brew Tutorials. Today we are brewing a winter seasonal pale ale. Here you see our specialty grain, hops, yeast, liquid malt extract, and spices. Here we have our digital thermometer. And we begin by heating the water to 160 degrees. Next we want to kill the heat. Then we take our specialty grain and we're going to steep this like you would a tea bag. We're not really trying to extract any sugars from the grain here. We're only worried about the color and the flavor of the grain. The liquid malt extract is where we'll get all of our fermentables. We're going to let this sit for 20 minutes. Here we have some essential equipment. We have our auto siphon that we'll use to transfer fermented beer. A stainless steel spoon for stirring, a turkey baster, hydrometer, and airlock, and a no rinse sanitizer called Star San. Now that we're done steeping our grains, we're going to pull them out and we're going to allow them to drain. Be patient with this and don't squeeze the bag. If you squeeze the bag, you might extract tannins from the grain, and we don't want tannins in our beer. Now we're going to bring this back up to a boil and take our extract and go heat it up because this stuff's thick. We're going to take our liquid malt extract, as you can see it's really thick, and we're going to put it into a hot pot of water to try to warm it up a little bit so that it's easier to pour. We want to take the pot off the hot burner and we also want to make sure that the lid is loose so that we don't have an exploding bottle of liquid malt extract on our hands. Now that our wort is up to a boil, we can add the liquid malt extract that we were heating up in the house. So we're going to go ahead and grab our liquid malt extract. <coughs> we want to turn the flame off whenever we do this because as you'll see it's going to come out pretty fast and pretty thick. The reason why we turn the flame off is because whenever it sinks to the bottom, if the flame's still on, it has a tendency to scorch to the bottom of the pot and we don't want that because it will add off flavors. We want to make sure we're stirring when we do this as well so that we can get it dis dissolved as quickly as possible. The addition of the liquid malt extract is going to add all of the sugars that we're going to need for the yeast to ferment our beer. The way we test how much sugar got into the beer whenever we are finished and before we pitch our yeast is we take a hydrometer reading and we put the hydrometer in and we read the number and check to see if it's close to the number on the kit. That way we can determine whenever the beer's finished because the kit is going to tell us what the final gravity is as well. So if our beginning number and our ending number match, then we know we follow the kit to the T and we're going to have the right style beer whenever we're finished. Now we bring it back up to a boil and we're going to start our 60 minute timer and add our first hop additions. Now these hops going in right now are going to attribute to the bitterness of the beer. We want to make sure we get the whole packet in and 
once we do this we need to keep a pretty close eye on it because these have a tendency to boil over if you don't watch. Now 45 minutes in usually we add our second hop additions but for this we are using uh, spices. So we're just going to sprinkle these into the wort and once we get these sprinkled in I'm going to go ahead and stir them in and make sure they're mixed in thoroughly. Again after you do additions you need to watch to make sure that you don't have a boil over. If you notice the top of the pot there you can see that ring of hops that got left behind. Now when there's five minutes left in your 60 minute boil we're gonna add the final hops, finishing hops. These are going to add a lot of the flavor that this particular hop has into our beer. We want to dump those in and we're going to let it finish out and boil for another five minutes. Then we're going to take it off and we need to cool down the wort as fast as possible. So generally people are going to use an ice bath for this. Now that we have the wart cooled down, we're going to put the hydrometer in it and we're going to find out what our original gravity is. Because the hydrometer, it was in star sand solution so it's sanitized and all we need to do is set it in and then we're going to take our reading. Okay, so it looks like our original gravity is coming out to be 1.054 which is good. The recipe called for 1.056 so that's where we want it to be. So now we're gonna take this back out, put it back in the sanitizer, and we're gonna grab the turkey baster. We're gonna take a little test sample out, taste it, and see what it tastes like. Now it's gonna taste like beer but it's gonna taste like sweet beer, unfermented beer, no alcohol in it, but it'll give you a good idea of what it's gonna turn out to be in the end. Now we're going to add our Nottingham Ale yeast since we're making an ale. We sprinkle it all over the top and then we take our spoon and we're going to vigorously mix it in to help introduce oxygen into the beer so that the yeast can do their thing, turn sugar into alcohol. Be careful when you're stirring, especially if you're using a stainless steel spoon like I am, because you could scratch the side of your fermentation bucket, and if you do that, uh, you might as well just get a new one because it can harbor bacteria and completely ruin the rest of your batches that you try to ferment in it. Now we're going to grab our lid, place it on top, snap it down nice and tight. We want this to be completely airtight and then we grab our airlock. Our airlock is filled with sanitizing solution up to the line as well. We want to insert that into the rubber stopper and now we wait. <coughs> we want to keep this around 68 degrees because that's what is recommended for a Nottingham yeast and we're good to go. So congratulations on your first batch. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial video and thanks for watching Brew Tutorials.